Hey y'all, this is that knife that uh, I had for sale the other day. It sold. But I just wanted to show you my experiment in wet forming. Now this, this is, uh, you know, my first effort at doing this. And this is the uh, ferro rod. I intended to make it go with this. And I, you know, experimented with a couple of different looks. I had it going this way, off to the side. I was trying to figure out a way to put it on the front. But I just couldn't figure out anything that looked good. So I wanted to experiment with wet forming. That's where you totally soak the leather and then you uh, form it around something. And I did that. And uh, that's what that looks like. Not perfect, I know. But uh, this is just my first shot at wet forming. And uh, I did put a belt loop on there just in case. But uh, I'm going to send this with that because that was the original intention. But uh, I just wanted to show you my first, <clears throat> my first try at wet forming leather. And it uh, came out pretty good. Thanks for watching. Boy, that is a whole bunch of blue lights right there. Jeez. <laughs> Forward air. <laughs> That's a company I used to work for. I was leased to them for 11 years. That was the best trucking job we ever had. Most money we ever made. Good job. My wife just informed me I needed to throw this ensemble out. And she didn't just say it. She did this with her hand. This ensemble. You need to throw that out. How rude. That hole only goes through one side. See? Doesn't go through the back side. Still plenty of room left for welding spatter and paint. I get another couple years out of it.